Earl Nightingale has said our attitude towards others determines their attitude toward us. I met a person one time that had an attitude like this that made her a success beyond anything she ever dreamed she could be because of her genuine niceness. It was in 1973 that I first met Dolly Parton, and I haven't seen her since that time, but she made a lasting impact on my life. She was already a star, but nothing like she became. She was raised in a one-room cabin with 11 brothers and sisters near the tiny Tennessee hamlet of Locust Ridge. From these humble beginnings emerged the one and only Dolly Parton. Now she was a star, but I say from my brief encounter with her back in those days, she was a star more for who she was in a genuine way with people that met her. Well, today, Dolly's songs have become classics. Her image is as recognizable the world over, and her business empire is enormous. And yet, she still lives by a simple homespun philosophy that never has failed her and will never fail. Dolly says, nobody's going to live for you. You have to do your best and be your kindest in doing it. If your dreams haven't yet come true, try this. Instead of waiting for your big break, start working for it and get busy right now because it's your life and the living is up to you. But in the end, the living. How do we live the living on a daily basis by being as kind as we possibly can to other people in a genuine way. In James 5 verse 11 it says what a gift life is to those who stay the course. You've heard of course of Job's staying power and you know how God brought it all together for him in the end. That's because God cares, and cares right down to the last detail. Well, we have to care to the last detail, too. That is true, genuine kindness and niceness to others along the way.